Okay, let's take a look. We know what the weakness of our deck is. It doesn't mean that there's anything we should change. I don't have any flyers. Oh, here's the, here, that's the card I was, so we could change to blue, but I don't think I got a lot of good flyers. I got this one. That wouldn't have stopped the dragon. That wouldn't have stopped the dragon. <laughs> Basically, we are susceptible to dragons. <laughs> the flump would not have stopped the dragon. The Pegasus, yeah. Basically, <laughs> dragons is bad for our deck. There's just, I don't think there's anything I could change. The owlbear is really good. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about putting it in because I don't have a lot of green in the deck. Let's see. And then I'm, I'm afraid of getting mana screwed. Even though I do have Varus in there already. Oh, this guy's got reach. He can block flyers. And the Ranger Longbow, we got reach as well. Death Duck Trample is fun with Vorpal Sword. It is, but that would take so much mana. I know exactly what you mean. Um... What would I take out? You have eight forests, probably enough to support a few two green cards. I have two already. All right. So what would I take out? I'm thinking maybe I should put the the dryad in as well then. So we can help prevent a mana screw. Or maybe you happen upon a glade. Maybe we do something like that. What what should we take out? Uh I don't think we need these two drop cards. Let's try that. Let's try that. You take out a zombie ogre? Do I have more than one? Oh, I do. Let me take one of those down. Put one Fate's Reversal back in. Try this, the Skullport Merchant, because that's another way to get mana. Glade is good. Ramp or Recursion, yeah. Now there's a lot of good stuff. I just don't... I don't know what to get take out. Spike Pit is interesting. Let's try this. See what happens. See what happens. See what happens. The 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 um the cards I took out, the minus two, minus two, are good uh removal for small creatures. I don't know if we're gonna have a game where we get through a whole dungeon and make that card into a minus five, minus five. And we have three kill cards. 
So let's see what happens. Welcome anybody that's just tuning in. Happy Monday. My first time checking out this uh, expansion in Magic Arena with the D&D the themed cards. All right, so we got two forests to start. Manticore. This is not the best start, but it's not the worst either. Uh oh, we're playing Grandmaster Rob, so I think we're gonna—I think we're dead. I should give up now. He's a druid class. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, gain a life. Oh boy, the druid. Oh boy. I can't believe I still can't do anything. Now we're drowning in lands. You find a cursed idol. Create a treasure token and venture into the dungeon. Okay. I am so drowning in mana. Tail spikes will do nothing. Oh, I actually have a flying creature. How funny. Um... I can always cast this as a surprise, too. during his turn. The likelihood of him summoning something that also takes the damage where this would come into a effect is slow is slight. But we'll see. You think I should play this out and rob him of that victory? Okay. Whenever Hobgoblin Captain attacks, if you attack with creature, okay, he gains first strike until end of turn. Interesting. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Oh boy. I am gonna cast a Manticore! Aha! Um, could I give it haste? Three. I should be able to give it haste, right? Yeah, let's play this. the red dragon. Oh, I, I got a little elemental kitty. Oh, he's got the same thing. With the, with the rapier. Okay. So I'll still have two mana left over if I do that, right? Yeah. Okay, so... I wonder if I should just kill the wolves and go. This activates is 4-4. Four, four.
Let's just go with this. I don't know, maybe I should attack with everything there. I got scared. I got scared. <laughs> Go ahead. He keeps gaining life at this. When this becomes level 3, target land you control becomes a creature with haste. This creature's power and toughness equals to the number of lands you control, and it's still a land. Oh boy. Swarming goblins, roll a d20. He's gonna roll. A 10. Create two tokens. Oh god. This is not great. Okay. He's gonna gain first strike. Uh, who we powered killing here, though? Let's let's grab this guy, pump him up, and block. Busy captain. And block this too. We can go in the dungeon. Which dungeon we want to do? Each player loses a life. I still like this one. Let's go this way. I summon this. I still can give him plus two plus two with the haste. That'd be four four, but then I don't have enough. For power word kill, right? He's got more cards. I got no cards. A treasure chest, okay. He's got to roll a 20 if he sacrifices it. Each skeleton I control. All right, let's do this. Down to four. We actually got two skeletons for that. Skeletal swarming is great. You gain three life, draw three cards. Oi, that was not great. Okay. Okay. We overwhelmed them with skeletons. See, and that's the thing. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing, but 
now that I have two wins, I'm gonna get 600 gems and three packs for this. Where, where, where do you go infinite? Okay, so you have to go all to get everything back. You have to get up to six wins. Then you're, then you're actually gaining on the game. <laughs> then you actually fund your next run plus get cards and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty fun so far. The new D and D expansion is out. Not in the physical cards yet, but in Magic Arena. And we currently are playing a sealed deck tournament where we have to see if we can get the seven wins or three losses first, whichever comes first. We have one loss, three wins. Ooh, nice. Nice. Let's try it. Is this the gold dragon art? All right, forest, swamp. We got the dryad though. Nice, let's keep it. Yes, this is D&D and Magic the Gathering combined. It's called Adventures in the Forgotten Realms expansion. That's why I'm playing it. Cause it's cool as hell. See, so here we go, we got a, we got a Yuan Ti, Fang Blade, a Snake Rogue. Um. I have to spend two and sacrifice it. I wonder if I should do that. Should I attack and then sack it? Attack and sack. Cause I have nothing else I can really do this turn. Let's attack and sack. This one. <clears throat> oh, it's got a ranger's longbow. It's okay. Um. Should I put when area deals combat damage to a player? Venture into the dungeon. Let's do it. You play neither of these games, but it sounds cool. It is cool. It is. Oh, he's got the dryad now. Okay. Plus three. There we go. <clears throat> Speaking of CCGs, isn't the Legends of Runeterra expansion this week like Wednesday? I have no idea, Rabbit. I don't know. Didn't they just come out with a big update? Shortcut Seeker deals combat damage to a player venture into the dungeon. Okay. Well. Death Touch would kill this guy. Uh, Owlbear. I wonder if we save the Owlbear. Should I do this turn? I'm gonna go. Let's kill this thing. And I'm gonna activate this ability. And let's do a full attack. We're just gonna go. He's down to nine. Where do we wanna go? 
Each player loses one life. Let's go with the Tomb of Annihilation. He's already at eight. Oh, sugar plum berries. Where is... <laughs> Where's my uh, power word kill now? Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. This has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, he can't attack with it. I got the death touch. Each player loses two life unless they discard a card. Discard a card and sacrifice a creature, an artifact, and a land? Oh, that you could skip this one. Oh, okay. Do I wanna oh, I'm not I'm gonna decline. I'll take the two damage. Okay. Bring out an owl bear. Draw a card. He power were killed? He used my power word kill. This guy's such a... Man, I was about to get it. I was about to get that card. That was rude. That was very rude. I wonder if I should bring this guy back. I guess. Each player loses two more life unless they sacrifice a creature, artifact, or land. I will get rid of a land. Actually, getting rid of a land might have hurt me there. Um, choose attack. No attacks. Is that a lava cave? It's an elemental cat. Yeah. Wow. I could have chosen a tap land. You would, that would have been smart. Yeah. Look at this. He's, he's stealing all my cards. I hate this. This guy is so bad. Okay, so if I make this wolf 4-4, four, four, I attack with both. Whatever he blocks with the kingpin, I can bull strength it. So I think I'm doing that. Activate this ability. Next. All attack. Go. Next. I will do both full strength. There we go.
That's the way to do it. Can I still cast this? No. It's his turn. What was that? Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. No! Can he summon it already? Fudge! I hate this guy. Fudge, 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 fudge. I wonder if I should bring out the ogre. Bring out your ogre. Now he gets to play my cards again. Mal says, all right, can't feel bad for you, Bog. I hate playing against Black because of all the stupid insta-kill spells. Seeing them used against you is great. Can a mod ban Malice, please? He's not rooting for me. Did you know that was a rule? What did he... What? What is this? He created a wolf. Okay. He's got reach. Uh, um, this is not looking great. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. It is a gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. Garner Girl, I said ban him, not gift him a sub. What? 338 gifted subs in the channel for Gardner Girl. Thank you, Gardner Girl. Four more. Extraction's unclear, I know, right? Four more, we'll do a game ball giveaway, gang. Oh, now it's just over. Now I just got, there's just too many things on his side. Too many things. This is where we die. And there he's gaining life. Choose blocker. My turn. Oh, snap. Creatures you control gain menace until end turn, meaning they needed two. Uh, it's not really going to help too much, is it? Fudge. Each opponent sacrifices an enchantment. I don't want to sacrifice an enchantment. Fudge. This creature must attack if, if able. Okay. One attacker. <laughs> Only opponents have to sacrifice? What do you mean? Did I read the card wrong? Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, here we go. Cradle. Create the Atropole, a legendary 4-4 black god horror creature token with death touch. Yes, please. Four four death touch. Okay. And now I got two skeletons. So where where is it? Uh each opponent. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, blessed. What is he attacking with? Just this? He's just trying to gain life. All right, I'll choose. What if I block with the Beholder? Then what? There's some trick here. He's trying to get me. No? Okay. Oh, okay, I see. He's using my own Manticore against me. Thank you.
Hey, Master Big Run. Didn't realize B Bog was a Magic player. Old school, man. Back in college, when it first came out, I used to play tournaments. I started playing on the Revise set, and Antiquities came out a long, long time ago. I haven't played consistently in a long time, but... Oh, he's got a Vorpal Sword, too. Is that my Vorpal Sword? Yes! He keeps stealing all my best cards! This is so bad! I hate this guy! Ugh. Sacrifice another creature or a treasure. Draw a card. Well, these two have to attack. Should I attack with the 4-4 four, four death touch? I just did the two I have to. If I get, like, an answer, he's just going to cast it. Oh, thank you. See, Magic more than the other card games, like, they get to the point where there's just too many things out. <laughs> and you're like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what would happen if he attacked with everything or if I attacked with everything. Um... have to attack with those three so let's just do it I think I'm dead I don't think I'm gonna win this one any chance I have of a comeback this guy is gonna foil oh blockers sorry oops I, I didn't realize it was my turn Is he going to let three go through? No. Wow. Okay. I'm playing against another person, Pecunius. I'm playing against Nick, you can see on the top left corner.
Sacrifice a creature or a treasure to draw a card. We gotta think about doing this, maybe at the end of his turn. Um, each player loses a life. Here we go. He's down to two. Maybe Garden Girl, maybe. He's gonna attack me right now though. Here we go. Does he have enough? I don't think he has enough swamps. I think he wins next turn if I can't, um, if I don't win. Or am I dead right now? Yeah. He can't he can't activate the Vorpal Sword till next turn. He's gonna attack with the flyer very least I would think no really interesting now do I want to use sacrifice another creature or a treasure to draw a card um shit <laughs> get a swamp out of that Oh, and I got another land. I ran out of cards. <laughs> he didn't get to kill me with the Vorpal Sword. I didn't realize I was out of cards. Wow. Okay. That sucked. I wonder if I played the turn out, would I have won? If I could have gotten lower... No, see, he could have prevented the damage from the dungeon by just sacrificing something. So I don't think I could have won. I don't think I could have won. I think I was dead anyway. I killed myself with the draw. I did, yeah. I didn't realize I was out of cards, but I don't think I would have won anyway. I was fishing for an answer because I, I literally got all land that turn. Yeah, it was a nasty way to go. All right, so if we lose again, this runs over. And we will collect our 600 gems and three packs of cards and put our tail between our legs. But if we win, the sky is the limit. Actually, do we want to cancel real quick? Cancel, cancel. Is there anything we want to swap in or out of the deck? I don't think so, but you could just completely change your deck too if it's just really not working. You could say, "All right, hell that, screw that." I'm just gonna change my whole deck, whole my whole deck. I think I'm gonna take the dryad out and put the happen upon a glade in. I didn't love the Dryad. Let's try it. It is a gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. Hey, Electric Messiah, what's up? Congratulations, you got a gifted sub. Thanks, Garner Girl. Garner Girl, another gifted sub. Thank you, 339. Three more till the game vault raffle. Dan says, I wish I wasn't working on a complete closer attention. I want to learn uh, more about magic. Then I recommend you just go download this for free. 
and uh, play through the tutorial. There's a lot you can do without spending any money in the game, and you can slowly learn bit by bit through their tutorial system. Yeah. Jospel just spent 100,000 nanas. That's the wrong sound effect. 100,000 nanas. For a Game Vault giveaway. You can type hashtag game dance if you want the link. It doesn't support the stream or anything. I'm not like promoting any partner link with magic. I would like to be partnered with magic, but I'm not. Uh, Jospel, thank you for, so much for using your nanas. We're going to do a Game Vault giveaway in a second here. Whenever the mods are available. And uh, winner of the raffle will get to pick any game from our vault and I'll send it to you tonight. There you go. The raffle is, has begun. Good luck, gang. Good luck. Ready. Hararoro. That's their name. Hararoro. All right, we it got a gift. One swamp. A gift to the friends of the otters. One forest. Oof. Oof. Gardener girl with a three bomb of gifted subs. J. Re, Dance, and Cake. All got gifted subs. Gardener girl just soloed a game vault giveaway. So this is a double giveaway. Guys, don't make Gardner Girl do all the heavy lifting. I appreciate it though, Gardner Girl. 342 gifted subs now. And remember, if you got gifted a sub, refresh your stream so you don't get those ads. Um, Which one of these should I keep the seven or mulligan? I guess we'll keep the seven, hope we get more mana. Oh God, this could be rough. Oh no, okay. You happen upon a glade could be good if we get one more land. Pit trap. Sacrifice it. And then I guess we'll put it out. Not that I know of, Azaria. Oh, hey, we got a swamp. Okay, good. He's got a wolf already with the ranger class. Interesting. I can just power and kill it, but I think that'd be overkill. Um. Can't really do anything. Yeah, two winners for that game vault raffle. Get in there with your raffles. Uh oh, he's leveled up. Whenever you attack, put a plus one plus one counter on target account. Wow. All right, screw it. We need time. I'm gonna use it. Doing. I was trying to put this mouse up there, but I realized that I could mess up your other PC, so I don't What are you to trying that. to do? Hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the middle of a draft. Real money. Real money? I spent real money. <laughs> <laughs> um... All right, let me happen upon a glade. Give me a forest and a swamp. Forest and a swamp. How do you see how many subs you've gifted? Uh, you gift a sub. 
<laughs> I don't know if there's a way to see it otherwise. Um. Two, three, I guess. Should I sacrifice my pit? I can't even sacrifice my pit. You found it? Where? How do you find where that is? Just so I know, electric beside. It's when you click gift a sub button. Oh, okay. You've given 250? Nice. I appreciate it. 6-4. Alright. Oh, he's just 5 now. Wow, he's gonna smack me in the face for five, 7 damage? That's not good at all. I'm not gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Oh! All right. S Spike trap. Roll high. Fourteen. I get a crit treasure token. Yay! Sweet. He's got a prowler. He can spend two to attack right away and do four. That's probably what he's gonna do. Yeah. Yikes. One minute left to go on a raffle, gang. We're giving away a game. I don't think there's too many people in on the raffle. One clam to enter, max of 500. Each opponent sacrifices an enchantment. That gets rid of his ranger class, right? Bye. <laughs> that emote combo is Arya. Fantastic. Once was a man from Nantucket. He kept, kept all his clams in a bucket. His daughter named Nan ran off with a man, and as for his bucket, Nan took it. There you go. I was so scared that entire time I was reading that. All right, here comes the winner. So Electric Messiah has won. Congratulations. All right, he's a 5-4 wolf. It's a 7-6 wolf. I'm gonna have to block this. I got two owlbears. Um, do I have to do anything now? No. I want to bring that back. No, let's just attack. It's down to eight. Okay. It was the limerick that did it? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Who was the other giveaway winner? Dance? Dance! It's Dance and Electric was high. All right, gang, you know what to do. Follow the instructions at the top of the vault page. Send me your top two choices from the vault. Two would be good. I'll send you a reply tonight. Oh, 
a hoarding ogre. A battle cry goblin. I don't know what either of those cards do. Okay, whenever a horde and ogre attacks, roll a 20. Okay, creates treasure. Goblins you control gain plus one and gain haste until the end of turn. Okay. I think I'm still going to attack with both, right? Even if the ogre takes out my skeleton. I think so. down to four I get to enter the dungeon um I can get him down to three but then I'm very close to dying too I guess we'll go here um, do I want the swarming? If a creature died this turn, I gain two. Let's do the swarm. No. Albear. Albear. Swamp. What is Scry? Look at the top card of your deck. Decide if you want to put it back on top of the deck so you get it next turn or put it on the bottom of the deck. Hey, Goofy. Hey, Hex Digital. What's up? Oh, they got an owlbear too. There's lots of owlbears on this fight. Oh, what the? F Ta Tardnar, Demon Fang Knoll. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh... What should I do? I, I'm definitely gonna attack. Let's go all in. Try to win. See, he has to block. I think I can win here. All right, bull strength. No, he's doing, oh, he was smart. He did the double block. That was smart. I would have won if he didn't do that. This is okay. Um, Oh, I have to pay one? Oh, this. Put this on the bottom. All right, there we go. I think we got this. I think we got this. Yeah. Is this draft or general play? This, uh, this is sealed deck tournament, not a draft. Sealed deck. You have to make uh, make a deck of 40 cards out of six packs of cards, and then see if you can get to seven wins or three losses. Whatever ha happens first, seven wins or three losses. We have two losses and now f uh, three wins. So we will guarantee ourselves 1,200 gems and three packs of cards, even if we get no more wins. This is, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I'm happy. Having never played with these cards before, that's not bad. Let's keep going. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't know that. If you play through three turns without, like, putting the timer up, you get 30 additional seconds on your turn. Yeah. Is that a break even? It's a little complicated. I, um, let me, let me make a decision here first. We're going to keep this. It costs 2,000 gems to enter the tournament. But you get to keep the six packs of cards that you used. Plus, I'll get three packs of cards afterwards. Plus the gems. So I would need to, if I, if I want to go infinite, be able to just keep playing without buying any more gems, I think you have to get to six wins. But it's 2,000 to enter. Break even might be a little bit before six wins, though, because of the amount of cards you're getting. Um, three one, huh? Wow. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take three. Because I don't think I want to use Power Word Kill on that, right? No. Not if I can help it. A Dwarven Ranger and a Dwarven Warrior, as long as you've... Complete a dungeon. Okay, he's double strike. No. All right. My turn. I got the treasure. Grim treasure? What was that? Grim bounty. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. Create a treasure token. Oh boy. Uh. Not fantastic. there you can't remember what the gem costs were mass enigma the gem uh you can buy i'll look in a minute i'll look uh, when we get back to, to the beginning i forget when did this set come out just a couple just a couple days ago on magic arena just a couple days ago it's not coming out as the paper set for a couple weeks. Yeah, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. They put thieves tools on them. On both of them. It can't be blocked as long as, as long as its power is three or less. This one can be blocked, though, right? Let's put that down. All right, let's try to stabilize. I can have the power word kill if we need to. Now you think you might need to play this? Oh, it's it's fun. It's fun. I was trying to figure out what to play today, and I'm like, the magic Dungeons and Dragons sets out. I logged in. I was like, yeah, I think I want to do this. Can't assign blockers.
Oh, it's three or less. All right, so let's kill this guy. Second big taking damage from him. I should have if I I should have killed him first turn. I would have saved myself a lot of pain. Oh man, that's so annoying. I can't block them. That's equipment. Be done here in a minute. I can't block. I can't shake him. What a little cheap way to win. Just stacking thieves' tools. Nothing I can do, gang. Thanks for the forest. Hey, I made it look close, didn't I? <laughs> I made it look close. Oh well. All right, so we got three wins. But now we get to open up packs. All right, claim pri claim prize. Yeah, if I'd used that power word earlier, I would have more turns. Yeah, so it, it's funny. It's funny because I um on the second turn, I actually thought to myself, I'm like, if I don't come up with an answer for that dwarf, he's just gonna nail me every turn for three. I should probably just power word kill it early. I have two more of them in the deck, but I had a creature in my hand. Um, that marketplace guy that made the treasure. I'm like, all right, so he's going to be a 3-1. I'll be a 1-4. I'll be able to block him. So in my mind, I'm like, I'm not going to use that early. In hindsight, it would have been better to just power and kill that guy right away. And I would have had a much higher life total by that point in the game. But I don't know if it would have mattered because those thieves tools are annoying as hell. All right, so we get 1,200 gems and we get three packs. Let's go to our packs. Here we go. Pack opening. White dragon. It's uncommon. 4-4 four, four flyer. With cold breath. When white dragon enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's next unta untap space. Phase. Step. A bag of holding! Whenever you discard a card, exile that card from your graveyard, and then you can draw a card, then discard a card, or sacrifice the Bag of Holding, return all cards that are exiled with Bag of Holding to their owner's hand. Uh, okay. That'd be hard to make work unless you build a deck around it. The Goblin Javelin here. The El Tugard Ranger. Plundering Barbarian. When Plundering Barbarian enters the battlefield, choose one. Smash the chest, destroys an artifact, or pry it open and create a treasure. And there's the Hoarding Ogre we saw him before. And Swarming Goblins. Okay, what's our rare? Grazalax, the Elithid Scholar. 3-2. 
Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, you may return it to its owner's hand. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. Okay, interesting. Next. More dragons, please. Oh, this is a wild card. All right, we got the Pegasus. I like how it tells you which ones are your first, right? If it says first on the top of it, you never had it before. Dawnbringer Cleric. You can cure wounds, dispel magic, or gentle repose. Eye of the Beholder. Target creature gets minus 11, minus 11 until end of turn. <laughs> Minimus Containment. That was used against us. Kieran uh, Eared Sentry. The rare Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Other goblins you control get plus one, plus one. Okay. Not so exciting. Shambling Ghast. Very cool art. Okay. Great Axe. Equip creature gets plus four power. Fly spell. Choose your weapon. Two weapon fighting, double target creature's power and toughness until end of turn. Or this spell deals, our archery, feels five damage to a creature with flying. All right. Den of the Bugbear. If you control two or more other lands, Den of the Bugbear enters the battlefield tapped. And red. Until end of turn, Den of Bugbear becomes a 3-2 red goblin creature with, whenever this creature attacks, create a 1-1 red goblin creature attack token that's tapped and attacking. It's still a land. Okay. Den of the Bugbear. Reward one pack. Oh, I get a pack up here. This is the free... So just from playing, you can unlock any of the rewards up here for free. If you pay the money, not only do you get the fancy pet and avatar and card sleeve, you get more more treasures down here as you go. It's pretty pricey though, 3400 to get that. I wonder if that's uh, worth it. I wonder if that's worth it.